Good morning everyone, it's the 15th of November um, but interestingly I'm not going to be talking about Movember specifically this morning um, I want to talk about something else that has happened um, this morning uh, across Australia oh, it's, um, it's such a, a, a life-defining moment um, the results from the marriage equality survey has come back this morning at 7 o'clock and all states and territories have majority voted for yes um, in recognition of same-sex marriage so this is um, kind of you know, overwhelming for me. Um, I posted about this last night and I'd actually texted my sisters and I said, I don't even know how to begin to understand what it means for me and for Andrew now, um, but more so for me coming from a very traditional uh, conservative country like Singapore. Um, you know, and have lived here for 24 years. Never once in my entire life have I ever thought about marriage or even the... It, it doesn't even compute that that word would could exist in my life. Never. And now we seem to have taken this giant step forward. And yes, you know, Parliament still need to pass the bill and all the kind of stuff, but... I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm quite overwhelmed and I'm quite taken aback. Um, it's a good thing, but I'm really dealing with the whole notion that I just can't understand what it means for my life. Um, I mean, to even say, all right, okay, let's all go and plan a wedding now. I... I don't know what that means and I have no idea because I've never dreamt of anything like that. I have never visualized it. I have never even thought that it was something that Simon would have the rights to, to experience. It is it's something I can't even take for granted that everybody um, who, are, um, who are heterosexuals, um, all this, my straight friends and fr relatives and family, don't even think about it. They're like, oh, okay, the day will come, we'll get married. Oh my God, we're going to get married. And it's all so tedious and blah, blah, blah. And like, seriously? <laughs> and and, uh, and now there is a chance. I'm just kind of, I, I, it feels as though I've been given a gift that is so extravagant and precious. I have no idea what to do with it. So... That's my mindset this morning. Um, a positive onslaught on my mental health, a positive one. Um, and I will need time to process it. Um, but certainly it is quite surreal. My sisters have texted me yesterday and they said they have my fullest blessing. If the results do come back, yes. Um, and for that, I am very grateful. Um, so yeah, well done, Australia. To all those who voted yes, um, I I feel I have never had my identity put out in the public to be discussed so blatantly ever, ever. And, and being a, a person of faith as a Catholic and I go to Mass, to have that same kind of, uh, you know, um, advice for us to remain true to the church's teachings and not to support this equality really hurt me to the core. But I'm not going to give up my faith. I know what the church's institution is all about, but I also know deep down, much more importantly, is that God is about love and, and he would be celebrating. <laughs> he would be celebrating today. And I think my sis, um, who is up there in heaven, you know, um, she would be celebrating for me as well. And I only wish that she would be here when the time comes when I do get married to Andrew.
<sighs> That's all I've got to say this morning. I'll talk to you guys soon. Time for a party. See ya.